Hey everybody, I hope that you're doing well. We are here with a timeless tarot reading. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Gabriella. Before we get started, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, what I'm seeing is that <clears throat> there is something that you are doing or that you are about to do or that you want to do and a choice needs to be made about this. So this can be about like picking a path that maybe has not been picked yet, has not been chosen yet. The word chosen is coming through very strongly, may hold some significance for you. Maybe something that you're seeing repeating, something very particular about that word. I'm seeing a P here. Four of Cups, Page of Wands, Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Sevens are karmic numbers. Chance, luck. For some of you, there may have been something that you were trying to do and maybe somebody wasn't interested in that and so you may actually go your own way with something like rather than waiting around for this person you may sort of do this on your own because the way that the four of cups came out it's like this cup that was going to be given to a person which in the four of cups that can be somebody turning away or not being interested or being like no that doesn't resonate with me so there could have been like somebody that you were trying to connect with or something that you were trying to connect or something that you were trying to do that may have involved like something else or someone else or like another entity that you wanted to connect with um, maybe like share ideas with or even get something up off the ground but because somebody turned away this is feeling like one of those moments where like something may have been rejected but it's actually going to put you on the path of something else that you are going to find is going to be like a super super great fit for you. This means too that if you're doing something right now and it's not resonating with you to pay attention to that feeling. So yeah, if you're, for some of you, you're going to start doing something and then be like, I don't know, something about this is kind of feeling weird to me. Make sure that you're paying, oh, that light is too bright. Make sure that you're paying, paying attention to how you're feeling. Because you don't want to be, you don't want to be manifesting something that... Manifesting something with the Seven of Swords would be you not being completely honest, straightforward, transparent, realistic with yourself, and then being like, yeah, but I'm going to do it anyway. Like, even though something isn't working here. I want to get further and see what this is about, because this feels like a very specific thing. For some of you, you may have somebody around trying to connect with you, but you may have like a weird feeling about this. You want to pay attention to it. Sorry, looking for O underneath the table. O is my cat for anybody that doesn't know. Yeah, like something wasn't right. You could have been giving to a situation emotionally. It's like this, okay. There's somebody that... 444. There's somebody... I feel like the light is so off right now. There's somebody that 
you could have been connecting with emotionally, but you could feel like you're showing up 100% and they're not, and you still have the opportunity to kind of start something with them. Meaning you could have somebody that's not fully like engaged or not fully present with you or not fully showing up. And they're still like, okay, but I'll like go along with this if you want this to turn into a relationship or if you want to keep going on dates, stuff like that. But there's just a weird vibe because you're kind of sussing out at this point that this person like doesn't really meet the standards of what you're looking for. So they may be like actually incompatible with your values. So this is your guide saying you may be in a spot where you're like, wow, an emotional connection with somebody that's entertaining this. Like just because a person is entertaining it, make sure that you're using your discernment and asking if there are red flags for you as far as this being incompatible. Because you may just be leaning on the fact that you have a connection with somebody and sort of overlooking the other things. Because Queen of Cups is somebody that's like, this isn't working, but I'm still going to stay anyway. When it's connected with the Seven of Swords. It's like ways that we delude ourselves into thinking that something is happening or like it'll eventually happen. Like they'll eventually show up in the way that I want them to. But it's like, this feels like very, very early on, like from the jump, something is not working. Pay attention to it. Because this seems like you're being shown that something is clearly incompatible, but there may be a part of you that's still like, let's try to manifest it anyway. Because I'm seeing you have big goals. I'm seeing you have big, big plans for yourself. I'm seeing that what you want to manifest is a relationship where you have somebody showing up 100%. You know what your values, your expectations, and your standards are when you're in a connection with somebody. You know what that looks like. And I'm seeing that be where you're trying to go. But yeah, something within the environment may not be fitting that. So if somebody's coming around trying to like negotiate your worth or your values with you, pay attention to it. Having you feeling like you're asking too much when you're not. And it's okay to not be compatible with people. It can be really difficult. I'm seeing a mermaid here. It can be very challenging because it's like wow now I have to like find somebody else to connect with and like what if I don't find somebody or like I feel like I'm running out of time you know all of these things but you don't want to be in that spot like later on down the line where you're like honestly even though I'm like laying next to somebody in bed I think I feel more lonely now than I would if I were alone you know like that type of energy Because I'm seeing, like, you know the type of offer that you're looking for. I'm seeing you be very, very clear on that. Like, there's no question at all. Like, you will recognize this instantly when it comes through. And I'm also seeing you have a lot to give emotionally as well. Like, I'm seeing you in a place where, like, you will be very, very present to a connection. So what is this thing about, like, sabotaging what you're really trying to manifest? Maybe something out of convenience... But when it comes to this part of you, because I'm seeing it be your shadow, I'm seeing you be aware of your shadow, and I'm seeing you also be aware of, like, your shadow's tricks. It's kind of like when your shadow thinks that you aren't looking, it's, like, messing around, tinkering with things, or, like, trying to do stuff, trying to manifest something, and I'm seeing you be aware of it. You would just want to stay in a place where you're continuously aware of it. Because what I'm getting is that you may have what we can call a knockoff, like, coming through, and it's actually not what you're looking for, and you may be growing impatient where you're, like, considering settling. Don't settle. I'm telling you, do not settle. Your guides are saying do not take something that is trying to negotiate your worth or your values or your standards because what you, you're so clear on what you want. 
I'm also hearing performance. And I'm seeing that you just need to wait. You just need to be patient. And something may be coming up in the environment where it's like, pick me, take me instead. And you know that this thing, you would be settling. Don't settle. Also too, like you can do whatever you want, but I'm seeing your guides be like, your shadow is your impatience. Like that's your work to do. Like your character flaw here, like something to be worked out, something to be worked on is you being like, well, my ego said that it should have been here by now. So I'm just going to go with this rather than sitting into your feelings and like dropping down into your body and your spirit and connecting from that space and being like, I know that the thing that I'm looking for and what I'm wanting to connect with is going to unfold at the right time. And if I take on something that I would be settling for, then that's what I'm going to be settling for. And it's not going to become this thing that I want it to become. So do you want to settle or do you want to wait? Because, and I want to say this specifically, like I'm seeing your guides specifically tell you to wait. They're saying do not do something right now. Especially something that would sabotage the manifestation you have that's already in the works of what you actually want because I'm seeing what you actually want and I'm seeing like you already put in that order like in the astral realm like they already got your order they're working on it it just hasn't materialized yet but you have to wait for it to come out so yeah if you were like well I'm not seeing anything the order is in okay but I'm seeing you still have to wait and that's going to feel frustrating and also you can have these thoughts that are popping in too. Seven of Swords can be like these thoughts that are whispering in your ear like, what if that thing doesn't happen, you know? Maybe we should just take this thing now. Like maybe you really don't need all of that. But the thing is that I'm not seeing you want anything over the top. You just have like normal standards here for what you're looking for. So you're not being extra. That's also the thing too. Like if you think maybe my standards are just too high, they're not. They're not. Trust. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting this energy of somebody trying to, like, cling to your energy, but it's like they want something from you, but I'm seeing they're, like, not able to deliver what it is that you're looking for. I'm seeing you... There's such a frustration with, like, needing to wait right now, because I'm seeing this is bringing up a lot of shadow work for you, personally... Meaning, like, a lot of stuff mentally that's popping up for you that needs to be worked through, and you may be feeling extremely restless, or like, I can't wait, I can't wait any longer, I can't wait much longer, like, I'm seeing you really be on the precipice, which, I will say this, before something is about to happen, and like, we're about to have a breakthrough, we get into a space where it's like, I cannot do anymore, I cannot wait anymore, like, I cannot go another moment. I'm seeing a beach towel here. I'm seeing white and blue stripes. It reminds me of an umbrella um, or like a circus tent even. <clears throat> I'm seeing you be like, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and I'm at my limit now. So just know that your guides are seeing you be like, I'm at capacity here. I don't think that I can wait any longer. Like, this has been maybe one of the most, a more stressful manifesting process. Because I'm seeing it's been really trying your patience.
for some of you, I'm, I'm seeing also you consider yourself an artist and this can have to do with your work. Same concept. You could have um, somebody wanting you to do something or wanting to like buy something off of you and you're like, that is not that's not as much as I should be making, like I should be making more, that piece is worth more than that, or like I'm not going to work on that project unless it's like meeting my standards. Unless it's meeting my goal. So it doesn't just have to be a, an interpersonal relationship. It's like any type of relationship. Something is coming through. The most simple way to put this, something is coming through your guys are telling you say no to it if it does not meet your standards. If you feel like you're putting in energy and not getting back what you need from it, if you feel like it's not reciprocal, wait because there's something that's going to be reciprocal because I'm also seeing it's not like you just have no idea what you're looking for. You know what you're looking for and so when it comes through you are going to recognize it. And this is especially, for some of you, like finances can be involved, but I'm seeing the Queen of Cups here. So this is something emotional for you, like at the core of it, even though it can be hitting you like in other places as well. More than anything, this is about your fulfillment. This is about you feeling seen and feeling connected with what it is that you're doing and also feeling like appreciated for what you have to offer as far as connection and how you are sharing your heart and this can be bringing up fears for you this can be bringing up anxieties for you especially because something is not happening immediately you know it's like that space between like you're up in the plane and you know that you're gonna jump out of it and it's like that time between them opening the door and you jumping out and it's just that liminal space where you are where like all of the anxiety comes up so i'm seeing your guides almost like keep you in this liminal space to be like let's see how you deal with this and for you it may feel like a really daunting experience but i'm definitely seeing something you're capable of handling but you may be at the point where you're like I can't do this anymore. You may feel really like you're at your limit at your end, which is being recognized. And because we're ending here with the 10 of wands, this means that it's going to be completing. So this in-between space that you've been in is going to be ending. You're going to get a break because I'm seeing like a lot of tension that's been building up and you may be feeling more and more uncomfortable. So yeah, there's going to be a changeover that's happening. You are like at the precipice where like right now is the most intense moment and then all of the tension is going to like decrease from here. Okay, so rest assured. I'm just seeing Sagittarius here. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing and I hope to catch you guys next time.